As part of Memory Screening Day, the Patrick Beaver Memorial Library in Hickory offered a free screening and we got an inside look of what took place. Several of us are very active in some of the um, local organizations that work with seniors and um, there's just such a need for better care and um, awareness of Alzheimer's and, and other kinds of dementias too that we just wanted to offer folks the opportunity to find out how they would do it. Questions on the survey asked were, do you have a history of certain medical conditions? Are you concerned about your memory? Why did you come in today? Have you ever shared your memory concerns with the doctor? Do you believe there are ways to protect your memory? And what are you doing to help reduce risk factors for Alzheimer's? Dr. Robert Brown took me through the process and explained why memory screenings can reduce the risk of getting Alzheimer's, as well as explaining some of the questions that were on the survey. If you have a history of certain medical conditions, now do other conditions go along with Alzheimer's? I guess ways to prevent it at all? Or? Well, first, let's, let's, let's answer that in a broader sense first. Okay. Is that Alzheimer's is a form of dementia. Okay. Dementia is just an umbrella term for a similar set of symptoms. But the memory issues can be brought about by infection, can be brought about by medication. There are some other diseases that are reversible. Vitamin deficiency, for example, can actually create symptoms that look like dementia. So we want to rule out everything first, um, including if there's a stroke, if there's something else going on in the brain. That's why you often get an MRI if you have some of these symptoms early. Once the disease sets in, there is no cure, and Alzheimer's worsens over time. One of the things that we found is that there's so much misinformation about Alzheimer's. Um, there's a lot of confusion and a lot of times folks, if they're diagnosed with Alzheimer's or if they have like a, a spouse or a mom that's, that's diagnosed with Alzheimer's, they have no clue what to do. It's like they get a prescription from the doctor and that's it. And then they're like, well, you know, what next? So we wanted to provide some resources that would help folks kind of know what the next step is, put them in contact with some, some local organizations. Quite a few came out and even younger adults participated as well. I was pretty sure I'd probably be one of the youngest <laughs> people here, so yeah, but it uh, never hurts to find out. Although Alzheimer's is usually found in people over age 65, it's possible for someone to be diagnosed with younger onset Alzheimer's as early as age 40. But if we find it soon enough, we can help postpone some of the symptoms that are going to come later. And so how do you postpone those symptoms? They're already there. What can you do to get rid of those? The first thing you do is you see your doctor and rule out any other issues. If there's nothing else there, then something like Aricet or Menda um, can help postpone those symptoms or keep them away for another 9, 12 months, maybe even longer. Very good. In Hickory, so, I'm Fentress Chestnut, WHKY News. Yes, you got, you got that one. Very good. <laughs>